please be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station, the management, and its network. Hey guys, welcome back to Millennial TV. At yun yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, Sarah. Yung, yung uh, about sa viral post. And of course, marami yes. tayong lessons na pwedeng makuha about that. And of course, sa buong discussion sa <clears throat> mga segment natin. Of, um, one thing is that it, it is important to put yourself in other people's shoes. Yan yung tawag na empathy, di ba? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, sometimes, guilty na tayo na we post something mm-hmm. online na mm-hmm. perspective lang natin. Hindi mm-hmm. <laughs> yung ngayon sila sabi nila, account ko to eh. Yeah, account ko to. Pakinyo ba? Sometimes you don't really ano, uh, acknowledge yung hardships yeah. sa ibang tao. Kaya naman, kasi nga, during that time, you're very happy, so yes. you're very in love, or yes. whatever. So, dead maka na dun sa mga tao na iba rin yung pinagdadaan. So, yeah, siguro, yun na lang yung lesson na, na be careful what you yes. post, and, you know, be, ano uh, rin, uh, sensitive. Iba lang ngayon, marami lang woke. <laughs> siguro, on the flip side, yun nga, eh, yung mga woke na tao na yan, uh-huh. I mean, I guess you're entitled to criticize somebody, especially if it's somebody na nasa influencer status. Mm-hmm. Pero, oh, alam mo, <clears throat> ak- aksaya din kasi sa energy ng oh. maglalaan ka ng oras magalit doon sa sentiments ng taong hindi mo kilala. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I get it, nakaka-trigger yes. naman talaga minsan, yes. especially if the content, like, ako, speaking of influencers, ha, malayo lang tayo ng konti. The last time I remember being particularly triggered about the uh, video mm-hmm. was, uh, this was during the pandemic na ito nga tayo sa issue ng mga wastages, mga walang trabaho, yung mga influencers na nagsayang sila nung mga red... Yeah, huh? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yung parang yeah. yung bread, yung high end Just for the content. Diba? Just yeah. for the content. And uh, of course, I mean, wala namang kinalaman sa akin yung dalawang taong to. So parang, bakit ako nag-aaksaya? Meaning, inaako ko, yeah. ginawa ko. Bakit ako nag-aaksaya, magalit, doon sa uh, yes, yes. post hmm. ng wala namang kinalaman sa And that's very important yung na-raise mo na yan. Kasi ako, uh, di ba sabi ka natin, how do you cope? I think kasi what we consume online uh, matters din eh, on how we cope. Kasi yun niya, if you're following a lot of people na yeah. tinitrigger lang lalo yung insecurity mo, like, like follow mo na. Unfollow mo na. Yes. Or yes. for example, um, annoying tong tao na to like wag, wag mo nang i-bash ano ba yun parang what, what good does it do nga na parang may kisama ka pa may kisaw-saw ka pa dun sa ano yan yeah, follow mo na block them do not consume their content because marami ka namang options na pwede mong pagkuha ng inspiration like mm-hmm. ako I, I remember before um, sabi nila na if someone is triggering your anxiety or your insecurity kasi mm-hmm. for sure marami ka nakikita na ang hot ang ganda ng ano di ba yes. ganyan 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 uh-uh. or ang successful or yung mga marami kasi influencer uh-uh. na parang that's their job eh to flaunt yeah. whatever they have because Tama. for sponsorships number one yeah. and then you know just to you know show a facade na parang I'm living the best life <laughs> and to yeah. rub it in your face mm-hmm. na parang I'm so ahead of everyone mm-hmm. that's their job okay and kung magpapapekto ka doon, sometimes it's your fault because hinayaan mo sila na dumaan sa feed mo. Block them, unfollow them. Follow people who will inspire to be better. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah, like inspirational yung content nila, creators, artists. Yeah, yeah. Yung mga ganun, mga someone na talaga mag uplift ng, ng spirit mm-hmm. mo talaga everyday. And then, sobrang dami niyan. Regardless kahit ano pa yung belief system mo, if you're religious, marami mga, mga religious uh, content online, if you're into art, if you're into music, mm-hmm. sobrang daming Groups. guild, mga, yeah. mga maraming mga communities then online. Which I think that's really just... the good thing naman talaga correct. about social media. Yeah. Like, we yes. spend so much time bashing it and stressing the negative effects of it. Pero yun naman talaga ang, if you're gonna ask anybody from, let's not mention the name of the brand anymore, pero yung mga popular social media sites, yeah. bakit yun nag exist Correct. Nasabihin nila sa'yo, it's for them to be able to create communities among Correct. us. Yes. Yes. So yeah, to MA's point, dun ka pumunta doon sa mga makaka-inspire, right. doon um, sa mga se- similar yung yeah. interest oh. points sa'yo. May educate ka, hindi yung parang... Mm-hmm. Kasi ngayon, di ba, parang for the lack of term, parang kabobohan sales. Ah, uh, kabobohan sales. Parang, uh, the more na uh, may inabasa ako na parang people don't care about helping other people, they just want to correct 
other people. They just mm. want to feel they're better than anyone else. Kaya mm. iba, magpo-post sila ng mali-mali ang grammar. Mm-hmm. Parang sa, some people are taking advantage of the illiteracy. Some people are making fun of it na ginagawa nila siyang mm-hmm. content online. Which is sometimes, it may be funny for some people, pero kasi at the end of the day, it's not really oh, yeah. beneficial for Mama. anyone. Yeah. Na, sorry. No, no, no. No, I remember the last time pala I got triggered by something online. And yeah. by the way, guys, shut off your social media if you really feel like you can take yeah. it. Correct, Best correct. decision Just ever. Just turn off your phone. Yeah. Sorry. Or, you know, have social media breaks. Correction yeah. on when I was last triggered. Uh, popular reality TV show where I came from. Yeah. Yung pinagtawa nila, pinagtawa na nila yeah, yung mga bata. Yung mga mali-mali. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Exactly. I, I think it's becoming <laughs> ano nga trend online. Sorry, I got triggered by that yeah. a little bit. I, I think it's becoming trend online mm. yung mga mali-mali yung spelling Tama, and all. Oh. Like, um, because, you know, entertainment, no matter how shallow it is, it's entertainment. You know, when people yeah, are bored, just they just look for something online. Ah, di ba kaya nga yung mga segment like Pinoy Henyo? Mm. Parang mm. kaya siya naging patok sa, sa masa especially. It's because you feel better than the contestant. Yung parang, mm. ano ba yun? Kasi na lang, hindi pa nakuha. <laughs> yung mga oh, gano'n. It's the, the psychological okay. factor. Kaya nagiging yeah. trending yung mga shows or ang mga content online. Some, some, sometimes it's very intentional. So kaya lang, if you feel na parang it's, it's not really educating you mm. into to Chris' point of view, if it's not helping you become a better person, just unfollow them. Kasi yeah. pwede ka naman eh. Or yung nga, kung yung sabi ni, ni ano, kung talagang too much na sa'yo, kasi overwhelming on social media, especially mm. kapag when you're depressed or something, just... Snap. Especially pag yeah. may nagawa ang mali, pwede ka sumikat. Yeah, yeah exactly. tapos gagawin pa nila na... The cancel culture na yes. pinag-usap natin. Mag-e-edit pa sila na parang to make it more funny. Mm-hmm. Tapos mga comments na parang tataba talaga ng utak ng mga Pinoy. Mm-hmm. Well, in fact, minsan, nang babash lang talaga sila. Yeah. Isipin mo yun nasa video, ano yung nakifilya, diba? Oo, oh, yes, totoo. Exactly. Yeah. So, ayun nga, parang, uh, parang choose your noise. Kasi mm. lahat naman talaga, minsan hindi, hindi mo mga control mm, eh, yung yung social media kasi like, even if you're not following someone, lalabas siya sa feed mo because nag-viral siya for some reason. So, mm. eh, it's the algorithm. <laughs> so, kung, uh, kung ako lang sa inyo, if you want your algorithm to, yeah. para para hindi siya maging ganun ka, do not engage. Okay? Yes. That's number one. Kasi once sa mag-like ka, mag-comment ka dyan, automatic, I, you're oh. sending a signal to to the social media site na, Oh, Nagano you want this? Lagi. Okay, uh, I'll give you more. Okay, mm-hmm. the more na matitrigger ka pa. So, ganun na lang siguro. And I think it's a two-way street then, no? If you, parang, if you want people to understand where you're coming from, I think you should also make an effort to understand where the other people are coming from. Mm-hmm. And I know it's very... Ang hirap kasi sa social media, it's not the fact that we can comment. Honestly, ang pinakamahirap mm. sa social media is we can comment right away. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes I wish that uh, social media had a feature na pagka-post mo, madadraft muna siya ng mga isang oras, yeah. mas isipin mo, gusto ko pa talagang ma-post tong kasabihin ko well, or tong comment na to. May, yeah. na, yung, 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 mahirap naman siyempre yung i-filter ng isa-isa yan, ilan tayo mm. nag yeah. Pero honestly, kung sila Zuckerberg, makikinig kayo, <laughs> Kung merong feature sana yung, of course, it's not gonna happen. Pero sometimes I wish that social media had a feature nga na parang when you're gonna post something or when you're gonna comment something, may one hour before it goes up. Para may time ka pang bawiin na wait lang. Hindi ko yata dapat pinost to. Or wait lang. Hindi yata sensitive dapat to. So I think that's the biggest problem of uh, social media. It's not that we can express ourselves there. It's we can do it right away. Mm. How many battles would we have you know, prevented. Kung meron lang tayong, you know, it, it moment double, to pass. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword. Oh. Kasi yun nga, if you're gonna use it sa, in a bad way, talagang ang daming worst na pwede maging possible outcome. But if you're gonna use it um, in a beneficial way, yeah. syempre, marami rin naman, parang, yun nga, everyone has a voice. That's the good thing about social media right now. Hindi na lang siya controlled ng, you know, certain entity. But, you know, the bad thing about this is that everyone has a voice. No, parang lahat na lang ngayon, you know, expert, hmm. analysts. Uh, Ikaw, as an influencer, sorry, I have to ask this specifically Ay, sa sa'yo. Mm. Like, when you say something <laughs> na feeling mo nagkamali ka, na dapat nag-backtrack uh, ka, Ini-edit mo. Are you, no, 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 no. Na-call out ka naman. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you the type to double down on what you feel? Or babawiin mo naman kung feeling mo mali ka? Yeah, 
before ganyan ako very defensive ako defensive ako like I remember in 2017 I got bashed because I posted something na parang oh buti hindi na nila tinagalize yung cartoon na to because that helps a lot of kids to learn the universal language English very ignorant right so a lot of people uh, called me out saying na parang yes. that is so elitist na parang you want kids to just learn English and not appreciate yeah. the Filipino oh, language yes. gets naman yeah 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 so very divided yung opinion mga tao daw parang they, a lot of parents agree na parang oo oh, nga parang ig-. kasi dep- depende siya sa kung ano but I was educated so I, I really um I acknowledge, okay? You, yeah. you know what? When you, before you apologize about doing something, mm-hmm. like for example, if you crossed some boundaries or if, if you offended a lot of people, mm-hmm. it's not enough to say na parang I'm sorry you're offended because that's gaslighting. Eh. Mm-hmm. I, I'm sorry, parang you, you took it that way. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry you took it that way, or mm-hmm. parang uh, sorry that's how you felt about what I said. Mm-hmm. Para normally, uh, if you're going to apologize about something, for example, you know certain influencers or even celebrities they mm-hmm. do it a lot. Na parang when they make a mistake, they mm-hmm. felt na parang people will forget about it. Next week, meron naman silang ibabash, which is true. But you know, if you really want to improve, you have to really like listen. What if they have a point? Because we're not perfect, you know. Mm-hmm. E- even if you think you're an expert about something, meron at meron kamo mimis And then yeah. when people are very constructive, naman with the criticism that they give you, uh, it's an opportunity. So uh, you have to acknowledge na parang what I said mm-hmm. was this, and uh-huh. I learned so much mm-hmm. from this. And then I'll do something better. At least I have a follow up. Para you 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 want to improve. Because that's what a lot of people want you to do, right? Yeah. Because um, the, the, this is some misconception about the the fanaticism online. Eh. Para feeling nila uh, just because you have a lot of followers, feeling nila mas may weight yung opinion mo. And if you do something, they will become your enablers or apologists. Mm-hmm. And the thing with that. Um, if you don't see the problem with your idol, you're not mm. a fan. You are a cult member. Because mm-hmm. what, diba, <laughs> what does it say about you? Oh. Diba? Yeah, yeah, na parang, yeah. Nakita mo nung mali na nga yung sinabi niya. Ang Diyos ko, yeah. ang dami niya sa social media ngayon. Or ang dami niya na parang, pinagtatakpan pa, nangabit na nga. Ano mo yun? <laughs> <laughs> Pero ikaw lang tututok ka ba sa mga bashers mo? Oh yeah. Yung mga bashers na constructive mo. Kasi may oh. mga bashers talaga na parang pang-asar lang. Ilalang oh, itin yung itura parang, mo or whatever. Oh, oh. Parang, may mga diba, ganun. Papala mo doon. So, ignore them. Okay? When, when it comes to that, I, I think the best way to to hurt people who are just craving for attention is when you don't give up you know, with what they say. Yeah. You know, just ignore them. Like, act mm-hmm. as if they don't exist. Oh. And it irritates them even more. Siguro, ano, to... Ngayon, parang we've been talking about how we should, yun nga, create a culture where we understand where mm-hmm. each other is coming from. Siyempre, let's make sure that we properly draw the line then. Yeah. Uh, and siguro, para mag-circle back then sa lahat ng mga naging topics natin over the last year, mm-hmm. we always draw the line on uh, sexism. Yes. We always draw the line on discrimination. Racism. We and always racism. draw the line with racism and anything else na parang you put another group or another set of people down mm-hmm. just because of like culture or gender mm-hmm. those realities do not become valid so sana maging mindful lang din tayo mga millennials na kahit nandito tayo sa culture na dapat ina-acknowledge natin yes. mm-hmm. yung realities ng isa't isa meron din tayong mga lines na dapat hindi kinocross lalo na pagdating sa mga subjects ng uh, discrimination and stereotyping yeah. so yun lang I, I think before we close this show like parang uh, ikaw Chris parang how do you plan to or parang kasi di ba a lot of people nga yung bottom line is nabu burn out sila sa job mm. nila parang mm. ikaw parang how do you like make sure na parang ma-avoid yun as much as possible or to just make it easier next time burn out sa work so parang same siya sa like na stress ka sa work mo ganun di ba mm. uh, na experience kyan dati kasi na sobrang toxic na sa work ko so ang ginawa ko parang watch this ganun mm. yun so nagjump ako ng career na much yeah. better na okay. hindi nila alam yeah nakuha ko ni job sa ako lang sa nila na lang okay yun, ganun. how about you uh, Ako ay resign. Yeah, yeah, you, you leave. That yeah. simple. Kailangan, kailangan magkaroon tayo lahat ng breaking point. Oh. Or parang uh, ultimatum na, okay, I'll, I'll give it a chance, pero if it's like 
super toxic na talaga mm. and you cannot ano. Hindi ako really. pwede magstay doon kasi tatanda ka agad. Yeah. Diba? Ayun na nga. So, <laughs> to wrap this up, um, dapat meron tayong validation sa isa't isa at importante ang understanding sa kung anong nararamdaman ng tao. Also, catch us every Sundays, 8pm here on Golden Nation Network, Channel 1 on GSAT. And follow our YouTube channel and Facebook page, just search GNN Millennial TV. We are also in Sky Cable, GNN in Channel 73. Uh, yes. Okay. So, Millennial, see you guys again next week and join us here on Millennial, Millennial TV. TV. This, this is our time. time.